It's not loud. It's not towering. And it's not what most people imagine when they think of wind power. This is the Power Pod, a compact, silent force that's reshaping how we think about clean energy. While rooftops filled with solar panels stole the spotlight, a quieter solution was forming. One that doesn't depend on sunlight, doesn't shake your walls, and doesn't demand open fields. It simply fits into homes, into cities, into life, with no drama, no noise, and no compromise. The power pod isn't just smart, it's right. For the moment, we're in. Let's take a deeper look into the wind. The trouble with clean solar. We wanted to believe solar was the answer. Clean, silent, and powered by sunlight. What could go wrong? But behind the smooth panels and warm promises lies a truth we don't often hear. Solar panels are not as harmless as we once thought. Each panel is built with materials like cadmium, lead, and other toxic elements. These aren't just dangerous during production. They're dangerous when the panels begin to break down. By the early 2030s, experts warn we'll face a massive wave of solar waste. Discarded panels, cracked glass, heavy metals leach into the earth. And it's not just the waste. Solar panels wear out. They deteriorate in the sun they depend on. Dust, rain, wind, and even bird droppings reduce their output. Every few years, you'll find yourself needing to clean, replace, or rewire parts of the system. Not to mention the sheer space they require, rooftops, fields, and open land. They also only work when the sun shows up. No sunlight, no power. Cloudy days, shaded rooftops, tall trees, and long nights can leave you energy starved. And in a world that's moving toward urban density, tall buildings often block the very light that solar panels need to survive. We wanted a simple solution, but solar brought complexity, waste, limitations, maintenance, and slowly the dream began to dim. The question now isn't whether solar helped, it did but whether it's still the answer we need in a world that can't afford to get this wrong. Why wind was left behind. For years, wind energy stood in the background. We saw it on distant hills or in open plains, giant towers spinning against the sky. It looked impressive, but it never felt close, never felt personal. Wind power stayed out of reach for most people, why? Because traditional wind turbines came with a price. They were expensive to build and maintain. They needed space, lots of it. And their spinning blades weren't always welcome. They made noise, cast shadows, injured birds. Some were even considered unsafe for homes and communities. Wind energy may have been powerful, but it was rarely practical especially for someone who just wanted to power a small house, a cabin, or a quiet office space. So we looked away. We leaned into solar because it seemed simpler, more controllable, less intrusive. But in doing so, we overlooked what wind could become. Not the towering giants on a hillside, but something smaller, smarter, something designed for people not power plants. It was never the wind that was the problem. It was the way we tried to catch it. That's what's finally starting to change. Enter the power pod. Not every revolution arrives with noise. Some slip in quietly, like the wind itself. The power pod is one of those. It doesn't look like a turbine. It doesn't act like one either. But once you understand it, it's hard to look at energy the same way again. At first glance, it's compact, more like a sculpture than a machine. No spinning blades, no towering pole, no threatening edges. 
But inside that simple shell is a system shaped by physics, not guesswork. Traditional turbines rely on exposed blades turning in the wind, but the power pod hides its blade inside. This design makes it safe, with no risk of injury to pets, children, or wildlife. And because the casing stays still while the blade inside spins, there's no whirring, no slicing sound through the air, just silence. But the real secret is in the way it handles wind. The power pod uses something called the Venturi effect, a principle that speeds up air as it's funneled through a narrow space. The shell collects wind from any direction, channels it inward, and accelerates it before it hits the blade. The result? More rotation, more energy, more efficiency, all from a softer breeze. It works like a funnel, catching what others miss. It doesn't need gusts or storms, just motion, just presence. For the first time, wind energy feels personal. You don't need open land or industrial backing. You just need a rooftop, a backyard, or a quiet place where the wind still breathes. And that changes everything. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. What it can power and where. The power pod may look small, but don't let its size fool you. This little turbine can produce up to 1.5 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power your essentials and then some. A gaming computer, a refrigerator, LED lights, charging ports, and even your electric car. It's not just about convenience, it's about control. For people living off the grid, this can mean independence. For someone in a city, it's a backup plan that doesn't rely on sunshine or fuel. It fits on rooftops. It sits quietly in the backyards. It belongs anywhere the wind moves, even just a little. In emergencies, it keeps the lights on. During storms, it still spins. While others search for outlets or wait for the grid to return, you keep going. You're not tethered to weather reports or service providers. You're not at the mercy of rising electricity bills or unstable systems. And maybe the most surprising part? You can take it with you. Move it. Relocate it. Set it up in a remote cabin, a hilltop retreat, or even a mobile office in the woods. The power pod isn't just a power source. It's an invitation to live freely to live lightly, and to never be left in the dark again. Five ways the power pod changes everything. It's rare to find a device that changes more than just how we use energy. The power pod goes deeper. It reshapes the relationship we have with power itself, how we access it, where it comes from, and what it costs us in the long run. First, there's safety. No sharp, exposed blades. No spinning metal that could harm a bird, a pet, or a child playing nearby. The power pod's enclosed design means peace of mind, without compromise. Then comes cost efficiency. Once installed, it begins paying you back. Over time, it can reduce your electricity bills. If you're connected to a grid, Excess power can even be sold back. It's not just green, it's smart economics. Third is design. The power pod doesn't try to hide. It fits. With smooth lines and a compact form, it looks like something built for modern homes. It doesn't scream for attention. It quietly belongs. Fourth, of course, is sustainability. No fossil fuels. No emissions, no contribution to climate change, just clean air passing through a smart device, creating something usable, something essential. And finally, there's freedom. The power pod lets you choose where and how you live. On a mountain, in a van, in a cabin away from everything. 
You can take it with you. You can rely on it. You can trust it. It's more than a turbine. It's a step toward energy that adapts to you, not the other way around. The future of power won't just be silent and clean. It'll be personal. And it starts with this. The fall of solar? Not yet. But soon. Let's be honest. Solar isn't going away tomorrow. It's done a lot of good. It's helped millions take their first step toward cleaner living. But it's also starting to show its cracks. Solar panels wear out. They don't work at night. They struggle in the shade. And they break down over time, collecting dust, water spots, and debris that weaken their efficiency. To keep them running, you need to maintain them, clean them, replace them. And when they do fail, what's left behind isn't pretty. Heavy metals, toxic waste, panels that can't be recycled easily. Compare that to a power pod. No need for direct sunlight, no toxic waste, no panels scattered across your roof. It works in darkness, in storms, in motion and it stays useful for years without asking for much in return. Solar may have opened the door, but wind, quiet and constant, is stepping through it. And it's bringing something better with it. Reliability, simplicity, and trust. A quiet energy revolution. There's something powerful about not having to ask for power. Not having to wait for a sunny day. Not needing to check apps or forecasts to know if your system will hold. The power pod doesn't just give you electricity, it gives you consistency. Once installed, it becomes part of your life. There's no humming, no flickering lights, no fragile cells that need babying, just wind moving through a hidden blade, keeping you connected. It doesn't demand your attention, it doesn't clutter your space, and it doesn't come with the constant worry of what happens when something fails. Even more quietly, it offers you something rare, independence. In a world where more and more depends on power, our food, our heat, our communication, the ability to provide your own is priceless. You don't need to panic when the grid fails. You don't need to wait for help. You don't need to feel helpless. With the power pod, you're already covered. And that quiet assurance might be the greatest innovation of all. The power pod isn't science fiction. It's real. But it's still in its early steps. A prototype with promise. Part of a larger vision called the Meta Energy System by Halcyon. A vision that doesn't just sell energy, but gives it back to the people who need it most. The goal is global. Local manufacturing, local materials, local power. A turbine for every rooftop, every cabin, every remote corner of the world. This isn't about replacing one system with another. It's about rewriting the rules entirely. The wind has always been here. Maybe now, it's finally our turn to listen.